Alrighty, take two. Now that the camera has a backup battery on it. It died. Um, what I was saying was I came back from a short ride because I scared myself on taking a corner yesterday, so I decided to hop back on and try it again. I did a little better. Now, some people are asking probably where I picked up the scooter and for around about how much. I picked it up at Wheels here in Fargo, North Dakota. They're good people to deal with. They uh, went above and beyond trying to help me get in get a new bike. This one was on sale for around fifteen one thousand five hundred. Um, and by the time taxes, title, and all, it was a little over one thousand seven hundred and something. But I was able to pay for it. Plus, get insurance. They helped me with that. They got me in contact with a insurance salesperson over the phone that they knew, that they dealt with themselves. And I was able to get full coverage on that bike for a little over $23 a month, which isn't bad. Now, I do know that uh, my full tank of gas is down a little, but not bad. And I've had this thing for about a week. And it gets up to about 30 miles an hour. I had it on a stretch of road that was 35 and 40. But all I could get was 30 miles out, an hour out. Not bad. I do know I don't take it up on the freeway, and that would be suicide. Um, well, so far it's been a good little scooter for me. And I've gotten to see a little bit more of Fargo. I'm going to probably be... Uh, talking to the camera more after I do a ride because my camera's not set up with a Bluetooth system or anything fancy like that. So I apologize for wind-blown video if I have the camera with me on the ride. But I thought I'd do this video to let you know I am still learning. I have nobody basically to ride with so I'm learning by myself Lord help me well not riding by myself the good Lord is keeping an eye on me but he's got double duty now anyway I'll talk with you later you have a good one bye bye